end up fatiguing himself with Yogg. And killing himself with Yogg. So, you... Dragon Warrior, remember that uh, Deadly Kitten banned the Shaman deck. Tempo's actually really pretty good against Warrior deck, yeah, normally. Unless it's the Tempo Warrior, then it's bad. Like, it's really good against Dragon Warrior. So he already has the main card that he needs, which is Leroy. Mm -hmm. Has one of the puzzle pieces. I almost think I, I like keeping um, the Vonis. Because mm -hmm. if it's not Dragon Warrior, it's usually really good. Yeah, it's usually really good. <laughs> like it gets an insane amount of value. So is pretty good against, like, it's one of the key conditions against the Katoon Warrior as well, because you want to power overwhelming it and stuff like that. Yeah, that's why I, I just like keeping it. Like, even if it's Dragon Warrior, it does have its plays, but, I mean, sometimes you're just not able to play it. So, Twilight Drake is probably the best here. It's the reason why you kept it. Yeah, 4-9. Most of the time, usually what Warrior actually do is just, yeah, deal one damage to it and just execute it. Just because it's just so hard to remove it and just lose you know, tons of tempo as well. Yeah, so that's exactly what he's going to do with the Dragon Cool and execute. Choose to gain 4 here, or... Go with the dependable funnel cake. Funnel cakes is pretty good, but Dark Peddler is the uh, play. Oh, feels bad, man. And even more to the, oh, never more. mind. So you you take. Oh, you're yeah. right. Yeah, you're not. To possess villager is probably best for them. No, you can still take Mortal Coil. It depends if he trades the um, magical into the into the peddler. I think with the yeah. fire and going with the earth and fire sphere like I thought he would go with, until I lost myself into the untargetable. Fairy Dragon? Fairy yeah. Trade, dude. Yeah, I don't think he coins it. He can save it for a rag later on, and then just be a huge pain to Deadly Kitten. Actually, you might even get lethal with it, depending on the situation, because I don't think you play Leroy, or I don't think you play Reno here. Mm -hmm. See, it would have been a good opportunity to play Savannah that turn. Hey, look what he just drew. Oh, that's a pretty good pickup. Yeah, I think you trade Corruptor. Yeah. No, I trade your Ghoul away, and then yeah, you have a pretty good body creature. Two really good body creatures yeah. here. Neither one of them actually died to most of the Warlock's removal. Mm -hmm. Besides Siphon Soul, which takes him the full turn. No twisting another in Deadly Kitten's hand either. Yeah, this is, he's like very, very aggressive. Like, he definitely needs it. Wait, how many cards do you have? And that's like ten cards, so he can't really tap. If he taps here, overdraw. And I see Deadly Kid in so, actuality over it. Yeah. Gaining four is not worth. You're not too worried about getting burst down because the Dragon Warrior doesn't have too much burst. Uh, so far, is probably fair. Oh, I like the Savannah. Got rid of one of your weaker cards. Yeah, Savannah is sick. Yeah. No, might have actually playing it first would have been better, but I think he really needed to prevent the Leroy. Uh, so is there any good way to remove this? Oh, he's no. actually going to the dome with the rag. There's a and how this usually goes is rag is going to hit Savannah, and Savannah is going to steal the rag. Oh, condition number one. Oh. It always oh. happens. Okay, not this time. Not Image. this time. And he did miss out on, he lost the power of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. so that would have been like the easier answer to this too. So the next easiest way to deal with this is there's Flood. Yeah, Flood it. He... I don't think you have to play Rihanna this turn. Even to Grom, it's not Yeah, even he has play. cards to Flood. He has the Imgang Boss while well, also having the Infestus turn. Like, he could have just played that turn. But picking up the Ember oh, is Ember. huge. That means he can play Nazoth next turn on the Sylvanas. But he doesn't have anything else to come back with it. So we'll probably see the Torrent come down with, uh doesn't do much here. Yeah, he can't even remove... This pressure's not too yeah, big. He can't even remove the uh, Emperor right away, so this is going to be huge value for Deadly Kitten. Unless... Uh, oh, if face it hits there. face, he's going to go with Reno. Yeah, you, now you're forced to Reno. But yeah, I really like getting the yeah. Torrin down, because like, your opponent has to get yeah, through it. Torrin, yeah. But I think you could get away with playing... Um, the Fairy Protector mm -hmm. here, as well. Yeah. Just taught up your entire mm -hmm. board. Just preventing any way possible that you could lose here. Because there is a possibility that you could just die to damage yeah, that's here. True. Very unlikely, but you definitely could. Rag hit face and pressure goes face as well. Oh man, that reduction though. Do a short one damage. Yeah. 
Every time, every time Emperor gets like more than one uh, proc, I usually don't worry about that card anymore. So that's not the priority anymore. The priority is just to do what you do to win the game. Yeah, that's true. Like Radio does give you that insane advantage of tapping whenever you like. So probably gonna see the blood to Icker. Oh, never mind. I was gonna. I thought we were gonna see the blood to Icker to just value removed, but yeah. That goal was a pretty good piece of pickup. What kind? No, I, no, I don't think he would use the Dragon Crusher to actually go face. He probably used it to trade, probably the uh, Emperor. Ooh, no face. That's. Promise now. Yeah, because with the uh, Blood Decker. Because even if Ragnarok goes face, it's still not lethal. So I thought trading would have been a little better because Reno, he, like this is a so... real deck you're playing against now. Need to trade in your emperor. You can even take the initiative, just because you're just so far ahead. No, not trade in soul, soul uh, not soul, but um, shadow flame. Oh, shadow but if flame. okay, if he's doing this play, then that means he's not. No, he could still do emperor because that's only five with the shadow flame. I mean, not emperor, freaking Reno Jackson. Okay, so he's using his uh, in game boss to trade into the right with the Argus. Oh, he's doing a full trade then. In no, he's yeah. going over to. Yeah, cool. so he, yeah, then he trades in the Apothecary to this, um, the Dragon of Crusher. Which is saving his Emperor. So he really wanted extra value of Emperor. Mm -hmm. Probably he's gonna see... It concede really shortly, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, this is the like, worst case scenario for the, war uh, the warrior, yeah. right? Then this is, the Zoth is gonna come down next turn, and just, like, no way. No he's, way. He's like, the, I'm uh, the gatekeeper. Way. Pretty much, like he brings back Alex Straza and the Torrent. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that uh, coil actually was exactly what he needed to find the damage to kill the uh, Grom. Probably gonna see the. Uh, he even has enough damage for this. Yeah, we're not gonna see this off. Yeah. We're gonna see. No, yeah, we're gonna see the. Uh, and then you see Kodo. The Kodo. Yeah. Kodo to move. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine. Just still searching for more uh, death battles. You could even Sun Fury if he wants to. No, that's exactly what he does. Ooh, here comes a Fire War Axe. Yeah, you just kill the Reno Jackson. Well, either one's fine. Actually, I like killing Reno here more. Because, why? I don't know. Oh, just, just in case like, there's a Brewmaster? Just in case there's a Brewmaster, just, a brewmaster, just it back to his hand and just Reno again. Brewmaster yeah. would be good. We saw it before, like we saw uh, Firebat play Brewmaster. Yeah, true, true. It's not bad. You also you, you, you also at one point thought that Brewmaster was good in like handlock too, so it definitely could be good here. Uh, there was a time where it was yeah. good, like, but I think that changed once, you know, more cards came out. <laughs> oh, here comes a Shadow Flame, taking the last drop. Taking everything away yeah, from the Yeah, there was just... There were so many, um... <laughs> Tech choices for Warlock back in the day, like just bouncing, um, like it wasn't Reno, it was just regular, it's like bouncing BGH, bouncing um, 